2016 harvest season finally over. I couldn't be more happy. With the spring we had, uh, the, the rains early, couldn't get on the field to till ground. Um, and trying to plant through mud, it was just one of those years. And then we come to the fall and we have the same thing. Wet fall, trying to get crops off. Uh, green is wetter than normal. A lot of guys, uh, I talked to one neighbor, he, um, this is his first year in about, well, since he's been growing beans, which has only been about 15 years that he's had to dry them. So it just goes to show, around this area, central New York, it seems like the last couple years, the springs have gotten wetter and the falls have gotten wetter. So it's been a challenge to put the stuff in the ground as well as harvest everything. So I couldn't be more happy to be done this year. This field's actually a little drier than I thought. I combined a field just in front of the woods there yesterday and I was actually cutting in. This field, only a couple low spots I actually cut in. I thought it was going to be a lot worse than it really is. And the yield's down. We had some leftover seed from last year that Dad wound up planting into this. Um, we wound up bumping the population. We usually put, shoot for 165,000 plants per acre at seeding. Uh, we had wound up bumping it up to 200 just because uh, your germination isn't going to be there. You're going to lose a little bit of germination uh, from being two years old. So this field probably went, well, it was six, six acres, six and a half acres. Uh, I would say, I'm going to see if the little partial bin that I have on here is going to fit on this wagon. This wagon holds 330 level full, so uh, it went all of all of 50, so I'm happy with that. It just goes to show um, fertility, we had the same fertility across the farm on all fields. Uh, that was the last field we planted, which was around June, oh I want to say June 8th, June 9th, just before the cutoff date for insurance. So between the field in front of me and that field, they were the last two planted. Um, I would say if you want to get good yields, uh, fertility, planting date, and good seed are the keys to, to having a very good yields. Uh, the other, the rest of our yields and stuff that was put in the end of May, uh, I would, willing to bet, average 70. Some of it was in the 70s, so it uh, just goes to show it's all pretty much the same type of ground. Um, it's just the key is getting it in early, having good fertility and good seed. So I'm going to dump this here and see if I can't squeeze it on this wagon.